your ass better call somebody! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SCW. I don't know about you guys, but I have chills tonight. I've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time, as has the WWE Universe. Live Finally, today from Hamilton, Canada. Settled. Scores will be settled, bodies will be broken. Glory. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Wichita Falls, Texas. Weighing in at 320 pounds. Limitless King I actually spoke to Keith Lee. I said, what makes you limitless? Why, why this nickname? And he said to me, I'm not bound by the perceptions of others. If I can do it, if I can dream it, it will be accomplished. The big man, quick feet, the agility of the former collegiate defensive lineman that he is. Won a number of championships in the independent ranks before coming to WWE. They're to bask in his glory, Byron. The show-off has arrived. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler made it his personal mission to eliminate the complacency that plagues the WWE locker room. Month after month, the preaching is the same. Dolph Ziggler truly believes no one can hang on his level. And Byron, I'd say he appears to be at the top of his game right now. Well, he's going to need to be if he wants to survive this match. That's for sure. As strong as Keith Lee is physically, he is that much stronger mentally. I believe that's exactly what being limitless is all about. Ziggler is here to show the world just how good he is, and he's ready to steal the show. Yeah, well, it's that attitude that even the moniker of the show off, but you've got to respect the guy who isn't afraid to lay it all on the line and bet on himself. Dolph Ziggler going for it. Dolph Ziggler making a move. They're struggling for control right now. We're at a crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here, working for control. Dolph Ziggler going for it in full control. in full control. Oh, ooh, what impact. DDT! Ah, oh, he's in a bad spot now. Yeah, he's got to find a way out of that corner. Elbow smash! Some might remember seeing him as a caddy or a cheerleader. 
But once Dolph Ziggler debuted on Raw in 2008, the show off's been stealing the show and winning WWE gold. Overhead, belly to belly. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Hit the hook with that one. Down with a power bomb. Shoulder right to the midsection. Punch right to the face. Stomping down. Just ruthless. Looking to catch him off guard. Plenty of fight left. He isn't going to go away that easy. Ziggler was also an amateur wrestling star at Kent State University, and in WWE, Dolph's held the World Heavyweight Championship, Intercontinental title, and U.S. Championship. The man is also a former Mr. Money in the Bank. The self-proclaimed show-off is one of the WWE's most beloved and thrilling superstars. Position turns around. Oh. Oh, saw incredible agility. Ziggler may be in trouble here. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Dolph Ziggler gets the cover, and it's Dolph Ziggler with the reversal. Gonna take more than that. Not. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Solid contact there. Stationary position, turns around. Oh. Off. Incredible agility. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Just look at limitless Keith Lee. He moved. Oh, look out. Oh, what a diving crossbody. Take more than that. Keith Lee, look out! Zero. Does he have a winning hand now? Can Dolph Ziggler stay in after that? This singles match is cut to an end. Wow. Here is your winner, Limitless. That's a big win for it, ladies and gentlemen. Look, we've seen the show off fight back from bigger beatings than this. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. And guys, we're ready to get this match started. And looking around, there seems to be a smile on every face. Could be nap time.
breaks the hold. No one's backing down here. What an impasse. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Controlling the tempo. Working for control. Controlling the tempo. Oh, Whack! Oh, oh, God! In full control. Oh, nasty impact. <laughs> Close quarters. Knee strike. For this, it could still rally. Whoa, Arya Dabari dodges that one. Oh, what a snap there. Oh, perfectly executed. Ooh, oh, knee left. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Knee. Oh, he unloaded there. Kicks directly to the chest. Snap, suplex, very up. Shoulders down. Is it enough? The shoulder up. Just power out. Kick to the gut. Ooh, right to the gut. Knife edge chop. singles match this was all about one competitor's refusal to lose when you see that you have no choice but to respect it as hard as it will be not to think about that amazing match we just saw we must move on here guys
And guys, you can bet there are plenty of superstars in the back crowded around the monitor for this one. Yeah, this really is an intriguing matchup, Cole, and the end result can very well trigger a domino effect on the rest of the roster. of the B team, there's no doubt that Curtis Axel is the real deal. And his opponent from Champlin, Minnesota, weighing in at 228 pounds, Curtis of course, the son of the Hall of Famer, the great Mr. Perfect. Tremendous pedigree for this young man, a third generation superstar. And all the confidence in the world. Luchador Andrade is coming into this matchup carrying his family's rich legacy with pride. Yeah, maybe a little overconfidence and cockiness, too. I'd say more than a little. And looking around, there seems to be a smile on every face here in Hamilton. Way too early. Pressure on. Not drop kick. Look at this. She wants to have some words. And she doesn't look happy either. Look at this. One, two, Very three. curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Wow. Oof. What's he gonna do with it? Oh, what a DDT! Wow! Can he end it quickly? Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. All the way over. He's getting a little batter now. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Nice amateur takedown. So letting his opponent know how they do it up in Minnesota. Oh, into the backbreaker. Very well done. This could be huge. DDT. Curtis Axel going for the cover. One, two, and another kick out. He can withstand a lot more punishment. I can promise you that. Checker's nose. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Just sending a message there. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. He's lost much of his early confidence. He's got him here. He's got him up. And oh! Now that got those shoulders on the mat. And a 
Alex Andrade almost kicking out with ease. Almost showing the heart that won him the NXT Championship. Here it comes. Curtis Axel with the excellent move to get out. A nice shot by Curtis Axel. Axel with a B-plus offense. He is getting fired up here. Drop kick! <laughs> Slips out of harm's way. German suplex. so close to the ropes, but I guess not. his opponents up to bend their limbs in ways they shouldn't be bent. I get chills just thinking about it. And now you have the pleasure to call the action live here tonight. Congratulations, Sexton. As intense and as dangerous as they come. He Dunn enjoys winning as much as he enjoys inflicting pain upon his opponents. You don't have to like Pete Dunn, but he will demand that you remember his name. They're on their feet for Johnny and his opponent swing, accompanied by Candace Lorraine. Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, one half of the Johnny Gargano. What an ovation, Johnny Wrestling. To be totally honest with you, a decade ago when I met Johnny Gargano in a VFW hall in Cleveland, I never imagined that he would grow into the superstar he is today. Johnny Gargano has made a career out of proving people like me dead wrong. Johnny Gargano was once a security guard in my security detail back in the day. I didn't know who the guy's name was. Well, you know it now, and so does the WWE Universe.
Johnny Gargano in action tonight. Gargano is the type of superstar who really lays it all on the line whenever he steps into a ring. There is no quit for a competitor like him. If Pete Dunne is one thing, it's tenacious. The Bruiserweight's natural instinct is to always attack his opponent. The assaults that follow are devastating to a superstar's well-being. Forget about winning or losing the match. Man, Pete Dunne's finisher is appropriately named, Saxton. When a superstar gets dropped with the bitter end, they are not getting up. Unbreaker. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Gargano dodged that one. His feet are taken out from under him. Something big is coming. Just a debilitating neck breaker. What's he got in mind? to amaze me. Oh, and a step up in Zagari. Hooked him up. And a suplex. He goes for the quick pin attempt. For a pinfall at this point. The bruiserweight Pete Dunn still has some fight left, which means trouble for his opponent. This match grinded him down a little. It's been through before. Here we go. Fight left. Starts his 10 count. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Whoa. Ouch. Two. Oh, right to the gut. This match's brutality starting to show on him. A change of strategy Three. has to be his next move. Something. Six. Back in from the floor. Seven. Nice. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Look at this. The shoulders were down for three, and this one's in the books.
What we just saw is another example of why Gargano is known around the world as Johnny Wrestling. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow. WWE foe here. The vigilante Sting has such a fear-inducing presence, I wouldn't want to be the guy he points that bat at. Yeah, but even without the bat, he can cause some serious damage with the Scorpion Death Drop or the Scorpion Death Lock. Here we go with Sting. And here's Sting. And here's Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods going for it, working for control. Sting making a move, controlling the tempo. Here we go with Sting in full control. Nice job by Sting. Scoop slam. Shoulders on the mat. Plenty of fight left. Up. Might have slipped there, Cole. A rolling elbow. So precise. Now with complete control. Right to the skull. Well, 
Back elbow. See, did you see that? Lost in the corner right now. Sting hurting a little here. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Oh. Xavier Woods connected with a good shot there. Boom! Before the fist drops on your face. Ooh. Ooh, guys. Xavier Woods using everything in his arsenal, including head games. It. Woods is having his way. He can't allow himself to let up now. Two. Back now Three. inside the ring. Got to be careful not to get counted out here. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. Whoa. And what a reversal Three. from Sting. Back elbow. See, did you see that? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Five titles by accident. Sting's as tough as they come. For the first time tonight, Xavier Woods going once more, setting it up. Looks like the end of the road for Sting. This is exactly what Xavier Woods was looking for. And Xavier Woods is your winner. <laughs> I knew he could do it. Impressive showing there and root to the win. No, <laughs> that one Sting may just retreat to the Raptors and stay there. Well, let's hope not. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive. You can't talk about the future without mentioning the past. This man ruled the underground and became a king in Japan. Now he's here in WWE and is somehow even better than the hype. in this last man standing match. Lightning fast reflexes. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Stomping, ouch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Champa. He can't allow himself to let up now. Interesting move here, taking the match to the outside. Strong impact from Ricochet. Ouch. I'm no mathematician, guys, but by my calculations, a last man standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent down for a three count in a traditional match. in the ring now. On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, you have to keep your opponent Two. down for a count of 10, which oftentimes Three. results in increased brutality and danger, Michael. Four. Five. Six. This Seven. match ain't over yet. Tommaso Ciampa taking full advantage. Tommaso Ciampa is the type of superstar you should keep an eye on. Not just because he's talented, but because he'll stab you in the back when you're not looking. You say that like someone can stab you in the back while you're looking, Saxton. It's physically Two. impossible. It's not what I meant. Three. Four. Last man standing Five. match. Nobody's leaving this one as friends. Six. Talking more about Champa's backstabbing nature. Anyone in the Black Arts orbit should know exactly what'll happen. But I'd argue that even knowing what to expect on that level, I can't prepare you for how violent and sadistic superstar Champa is in the ring. Yeah, agreed. It's certainly an experience watching Champa inflict his particular brand of brutality on his fellow superstars. Two. a lot of mercy to be shown here. Five! Six! Simply said, Seven. this is going to be a great match. He will go on. Ricochet is now known as one of sports entertainment's preeminent high flyers, but considering his size and stature, Ricochet never thought he would actually be here, Byron. No, but Ricochet goes higher than the expectations, Michael. The hype on this guy is real. There are many superstars, but Two, there is one and only three, Ricochet. Four, five, These guys have to knock each other down to the point that their opponent six, can't get up. Seven. And this match is going to continue. Big move. Looks like Tommaso Ciampa is on the move, guys. He's taking charge Two, here. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Here we go on. It's gonna be agonizing for the arm.
He has something big planned. Really targeting the back on that one. Been kicked right to the gut. Chin lock. Great way to wear down your opponent. Well, that was SCW. If you enjoyed it, as always, let me hear about it. Have a good one.